Good morning. I wanted to explain some sliders on uh, Easy Paint Tool Sci for mostly on the blending side. Most people already know how to ink, and I think there's 50,000 tutorials already on how to ink an Easy Paint Tool Sci. And of course, that's just having the minimum size at zero and the density at a uh, hundred percent, and you get a pretty good inking brush, along with uh, adjusting your stabilizer and your pressure curve. I have a tutorial on that one as well under the Wacom Pressure Curve tool. So a lot of people get frustrated with Psy when they're when they're painting because they're trying to figure out why am I getting like a weird effect or why is this really blurry? And that's because people don't understand what these sliders do. Here's the first slider which is called blending. And if I ramp this up to 100%, the effect's going to be immediate. It, what's going to happen is that two colors adjacent to each other are going to immediately try to blend with each other. So, as I scrub over here, you can see that orange is showing up. and you can see like I can adjust the transition by going on each side of the edge here and of course if I go over here it's gonna become more green and here we'll have purple so the next slider which I'll turn the blending down and go to dilution. Dilution is how quickly uh, color dissolves into the next and it's also dependent upon whether or not you have selected a certain color. So if I had selected red and I go this way, you can see that it's diluting in the white canvas which is something you don't want to do. It's basically you want to start your stroke with the color that you're going to work with and not try to do it over by the white canvas otherwise you start dragging white into the image which is usually undesirable and a lot of people complain about that but as I said it's also dependent upon the color you have so if you are trying to dilute into the blue then you're gonna need to make sure that you have uh, the right color selected and lighter pressures light, uh, more dilution and then harder pressure brings back the original color okay the next color slider I want to talk about is persistence persistence is how much the uh, original color that you're dragging from is going to be brought into the canvas and this is another reason why you have to really be careful if you have this setting on that uh, you're probably not in the white of the canvas because sometimes it may drag in or dissolve the white so if I started from here and even though I have uh, this pink selected even with the hardest pressure as I drag over it's gonna persistently bring that color over so it's the same thing if I did with the red and yellow so this is a really good combination with blending if you want like your blending to go in a certain direction so if you want it to go r more red then you would bring the persistence up maybe about 30 percent you know a little less strong and it'll drag more of the red into the yellow side and then if you want more yellow onto the red so that kind of explains the basics of these three sliders that most people get confused about and also in combination with your bristles or or uh, custom brushes you can make some nice effects like right now this kind of looks more like a kind of smeary oily brush and with texture it'll bring in a canvas texture along with the brush so now you have interesting blending techniques to sew. Well, I hope 
that actually helps uh, people understand the three sliders and easy paint tool sigh and maybe relieves a little bit of frustration with some people who don't understand uh, why sigh is acting the way it is. And thank you for watching.